boys and girls. Welcome back to the Portsmouth Public Library. I'm Miss Robin and we've been celebrating National Library Week this week. I've got another fun book for you, so I hope you like it. Let's open up our bag. Our library bag has a big surprise. Now's the time to use our eyes. Untie, unwind, open wide. Show us, show us what's inside. Ready, set, go. One, two, three. Open now and let us see. Ooh, Mr. Fred, come on out and say good morning. Say good hi. Say hi to everybody. Fred has been celebrating National Library Week. He's been going around the department looking for books about dogs. What kinds of books do you like to read? Can you tell Mr. Fred? Boy, those sound like good ones, don't they? Well, we have a book about a bear who likes to read about pickles. Are you ready? Tell Fred, see you later, alligator. This is called a library book for bear. It was written by Bonnie Becker, so she's the author, and it was the pictures were drawn by Katie McDonald Denton. That makes her the illustrator. A library book for Bear. Bear had never been to the library. He had seven very nice books at home, three about kings and queens, three about honeybees, and one about pickles. Bear was quite sure he had all the books he would ever need. One morning, Bear heard a tap, tap, tapping on his door. When he opened the door, there was Mouse, small and gray and bright-eyed. We are off, exclaimed Mouse with a happy wag of his whiskers. Bear frowned. He had agreed to go with Mouse to the library, but now he was quite sure it was a dreadful mistake. Completely unnecessary, Bear announced. I have all the books I need right here. Oh, there are many delightful books in the library, Mouse assured him. Ruff, Bear grumbled, but he had promised. So he buckled up his red roller skates and stepped outside, grabbing a basket of the book for the books. Look who's hanging on the basket. Bear skated and Mouse rode in the basket to the library the wind rippling nicely through their fur. But when they got to the library, Bear didn't like how big it looked. There are far too many books in there, he protested. Most excessive. Oh no, it's quite exciting, Mouse said, leading Bear through the tall doors. In the library were more books than Bear had ever thought there could be. He quickly found a tucked away corner, but even here, there were lots and lots of books. Ruff. Terribly extravagant, Bear's voice was a little loud. I shall find you the perfect one, Mouse said quietly in his library voice. What about pickles? commanded Bear. After all, he only had one of those. But Mouse had whisked away. Mouse came back with a thick green book. Bear opened it. Rocket ships? Ridiculous! 
Bear's voice was getting louder. A good book about pickles is all I require. Remember, quiet in the library, murmured Mouse as he scurried off. He soon returned with a tall yellow book. I am not interested in wooden canoes. Bear's voice was even louder. Quiet voices in the library, Mouse reminded him. My voice is always quiet, shouted Bear. I will find my own book. I can assure you that pickles are quite interesting. Mouse didn't look quite so sure, but Bear quickly spotted a blue book with a pickle on the spine and Mouse sprang up on the shelf to get it for him. Inside were pictures of pickles. The pickles had little fairy wings. They were dancing with petunias. No dancing pickles, Bear roared. Shh, said a voice. Bear peeked around the bookshelf. There sat a librarian with a cluster of youngsters gathered around her. The librarian smiled, but another squirrel squished an angry finger against her lips, and an old raccoon said sternly, quiet in the library. Bear turned back with a huffy sniff. <laughs> I know when I'm not wanted, he told Mouse. I want to go home. Surely at least one book, Mouse began. But Bear cut him off. I have all the books I need. He looked quite certain. Then we are off, said Mouse. But his whiskers didn't wag this time. Bear stood stock still. He was listening carefully to a voice on the other side of the bookshelf. So the very brave bear began to inch his way toward the treasure chest, the voice was saying. I'm ready, began Mouse. Shh, exclaimed Bear. It's just getting to the good part. But you said... Quiet voices in the library, Bear bellowed. This time the librarian got up and looked around the bookshelf at Bear. Bear stood very still and quiet as if he had been still and quiet all along. Would you like to join the story time, the librarian asked. Bear glanced at Mouse. We'd love to have you, said the librarian. Bear and Mouse scooted around the shelf and found two empty chairs. The librarian began to read again. Bear lifted the lid to the treasure chest and inside, <gasps> the librarian paused. Mouse and Bear strained forward. Inside, she said, was a mound of pickle slices. And each shining slice was made of diamonds and gold. And everyone shouted, hooray for the very brave bear. And then she said, the end. Bear stared dreamily into space for a moment. Then he looked over at Mouse and announced, as I said, pickles are most interesting. Indeed, said Mouse. Later, Mouse wrote in the basket with seven new books. There were two about wooden canoes, two about rocket ships, two about teapots. And one called The Very Brave Bear and the Treasure of Pickle Island, which Bear read to Mouse that very same day.
the end. Thank you for joining me today. If you like this book, we have more books about bear and mouse in the library. And I hope we'll get to see you soon.